Hello everyone. Uh, today I will show you about uh, how to uh, insert, update, delete a list of objects in Dart programming language. Uh, so continue from the previous lesson. Uh, firstly, uh, I want to show you. I want to tell you about the underscore uh, convention. The underscore means this method or function is private. Private private means it is only run inside the class and it cannot be run outside this class. So for example, if you call this, uh, you, it is impossible. It is impossible because the do something in this case is private method. Uh, it is only called means inside the class. So for example, inside this class, or uh, inside the say hello, I can call the underscore do something function. Uh, okay, okay, because you can access private uh, property inside this class. Okay, and uh, you you can use this convention to define uh, some of the private property, some of the private widgets, the private uh, function. Uh, it means that it is only used inside or internal property, internal uh, method. Okay. Um, so now I define a list of car on array of car. Uh, the convention here is we use the plural form. The plural form, not singular form. Singular form, singular form is used for defining a variable, and plural forms is used uh, to define an array uh, and here I run the program again and define a cast the cast here is uh, a list of an array array of car and it is a blank list the blank list means that you uh, you don't have any item inside the list and you can add more object inside the list by using add to insert the object one by one so here we have three objects cars uh, we use add and we print we use the print the print function to uh, uh, add a print here and you set a breakpoint to this line and the breakpoint allow you to run the debugger. You press to debug, and the program will uh, run and stop at the breakpoint here and wait you to uh, see some of the property inside. You can click to the car uh, array, and you see every object inside the list, the detail object inside the list and then you can also add uh, many objects inside the list by copy and paste this inside the list and remove unnecessary code uh, okay it is good and you debug again the program you press the debug button again to debug the program and here uh, the program will stop at the debug uh, at the breakpoint and you click to the car object and you can see every car inside this and uh, this is a very common work you do in the programming because uh, debugging a program is very important and it's quite necessary when you do everything with programming uh, you can iterate you can iterate the list of car by using for it. Inside, inside the for it, we have an anonymous function uh, with the argument here is every car inside the list or each car inside the list. I print the car detail. Uh, so after adding the, the debugger and uh, press debug to run the program and stop it here. Uh, we can see the detail 
car, please. By move your mouse to the object and see the detailed object information. Okay. Uh, we can replace the, the, the hello string by cars and the car is list object and you have to convert to string by uh, two string function two, sing, uh, two string method method run the program again yes so here we see the output here is a list of object a list of car we have many object of car here and uh, now I want to sort the list by year production, uh, sort by ascending, uh, sort by uh, descending, or uh, uh, sort by uh, uh, from from from, uh, from uh, small to higher and from higher to small. Yes, we use the function sort, and inside the sort we have we we uh, we, we see uh, an anonymous function with two car. Here we have a two car. Uh, Two two car inside the list, and the return value for for this comparator for this function here is uh, uh, zero um, minus one and um, plus one. Okay, we have three value, and we we can uh, return to the uh, year production of car one minus year. Pro, uh, your production of car 2 so here sort of sending and vice versa and we inverse by changing this to car 2 minus car 1 and the sort here is uh, sort descending yeah so the bigger is is top and smaller 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 okay or uh, we, we call this is sort ascending Yes, sort descending yeah. from bigger to smaller, smaller mean descending. Okay, <coughs> relax the program again and uh, okay. And uh, now I, I, I want to sort by name. You can sort by some of property now, sort by year production, and now I, I want to sort by name. Name is string. And we sort by alphabet. Yes, we sort by alphabet, not value. Uh, we do similarly, but here the comparison is the compare between this string to another string, or string name of car one to the string property of name of car two. Okay, we use compare to function. So in this case, I have Mercedes Benz, Mercedes Benz C. Uh, class C three hundred, okay, etc. So here I, I can sort by name. Yes, I sort the sending from A B C to Z, and sort descending mean sort from Z to A. And how to update? Uh, I want to change the value or to update an existing item in the list. This is quite a simple. You can access directly to the list and change the value directly okay uh, you can change by car zero the the, the the item zero the year production of item zero 2015 yes you you can change this very easy by change uh, every property value you change every pro property value okay Yes, and restart to perform reloading. Yes. Okay, so we have many objects inside the list to display to show you detail about the list. Okay, and how to filter? Uh, filter mean we, uh, we 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 only remove some of the object with the specific conditions. Uh, so uh, we use where where function means that uh, the condition to filter so inside this we use a function or a lambda expression this is called a lambda expression mean that a function or one line function mean a lambda expression uh, so here we only sort 
we we only uh, filter we only filter uh, the car which has the year of production is 2020 has yes. and convert the, the the result to list yes. uh, so we, we we add the result to an um, an array of filter car filter car is a result array yes and here uh is the, the, the condition here is year production is equal to uh 2020 okay okay now and we can add more condition here by using n n yes so and car name uh contain the car name is contain um, the car name is uh, contain uh, amg okay so so here only we have only one we have only one so in this case i do okay so the year production here is uh 2000 uh, year is uh uh here and the, the, the name contain amg okay good there is a condition we uh we, we can change using the two uppercase yeah, so two two uppercase mean we convert the name to uppercase and and compare uh, to the output value. Yes, so here we can see yes, Mercedes AMG. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, so now I, I want if you want to delete an item using filter. Filter also uh, also used to delete an item inside the list. Okay, so uh, here it means that I delete uh, the object with name is Mercedes Maybach S Class Salon. Okay, so uh, we we can see the output like here. Okay. Okay, and run again. Yes. So in this case, we only has the the the, the, the list except the Mercedes maybe S class salon. Okay. Uh, so we we can we can define a list of string. It means I only I extract I only get the, the, the name to a list of string name. Uh, so in this case, I use map the map function as. Uh, the, the map function is uh, the, the same as with the previous lesson we use a map yes to convert from a list of object type a to a list of object type b yes and here we display to see the output okay so we can uh, map the list of object to the map to to the list of string contained and you you can also iterate the names uh, using for it yes and you print uh, every objects every string inside the list of string by the by here print now yes and run again to see the output result okay here so uh, this is very easy to work with iterating don't use for loop please use voice voice is better okay so it is the end of my lesson today uh, thank you very much for watching and see you again